I had always did have plans to go to uh, the college. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to be, you know, how they would always ask a kid, oh, what do you want to be when you grow up? And, you know, I never actually thought of what I wanted to be. You know, I never knew what I was good at doing. I was born August 3rd, 2000. We've moved a lot, but I just remember growing up on this part of uh, Charlotte. I guess it was a little bit more functional right there at elementary. I guess teachers were more more strict, but also cared about if you finished your work and all that. Middle school was where um, it changed somehow, where uh, education, it felt a little bit more like different. The, the environment to it was much more different. The teachers and then the students and then the vibe and the neighborhood that we were in. You know, I had a lot going on at my house as well, to where like I wasn't being supported as much as I thought I would be. Uh, my parents not understanding a lot about me. And I try to like, you know, try to not be home as much as I could because of uh, things that were going on at my house. I got into like drug type of stuff and all that. That, that um, like eased it out. Like it made it like seem like things weren't around as much as it was. They were good kids, but I guess we all went through like some type of stuff going on around us that nobody bothered to ask at school or no one paid attention to. Towards freshman year, I only went to school for like maybe a couple of days, maybe a month. I didn't pass my freshman year. Um, I was held back. I was uh, indicated as a student that would drop out. Um, they had already pinpointed that from when I started school. They looked at me like keep an eye on him. Throughout that year, they wanted me to just go to some type of alternative school and uh, try to put me somewhere else where it wasn't their problem, like they didn't care. There was only one teacher that would actually try to help me. He understood me, he know, he was that type of teacher to like get into like students' lives and try to make sure they were doing okay. It's very rare to find people like that, that actually like stay in your life and try to care about you and try to help you as much as possible. My son was born uh, November 18, 2017. I guess that pushed it to a limit to where I also changed for him because I didn't want to go, you know, be that type of father that wasn't around. Um, he's two now, so he's getting big. That third year, I did. I was like, I can't be a freshman again. I didn't, I didn't want to be, you know, surrounded with kids that were like younger than me. I just didn't want to go to school anymore. I would rather work. So I left school and I started working. I feel like it was the right move at that time. But I mean, now, now after like two years, uh, you know, I would like to go back to school, you know, get everything done with. I feel like it would be more helpful in life with all that taken care of. I just, you know, want the system to change. I feel like the system is, is past broken. Like it's, it needs better teachers. It needs better persons that care. The relationship between a student and a teacher should be like more bonded. Like the teacher has to understand the student to know what the student needs. I dropped out and I'm still going on with my life. You know, I'm not like those type of guys that drop out and then become drug dealers or end up on the side of the street. No, I, I dropped out and I kept going on with life.